Good morning. I hope everyone's doing well this morning. For those who don't know me, I am Debbie and I am the owner here at Dances with Wool. We're located in Midlothian, Virginia, right in the village in Sycamore Square Shopping Center. And we welcome you today. This is another edition of Inspire Me Friday. We are going to talk today about winter classes, but before we get started, do want to remind you that our operating hours are 11 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. You want to shop, come in and shop if you're local because we have all kinds of things coming in right now, even, you know, yarns and things that, and, and stocking stuffers and other gifts that would be great for Christmas. And we also, um, if those of you who are not local, we still welcome you to shop with us. We have an online store and as soon as our stock goes in our system in the shop, it is immediately put online. So you can, you can get a great, um, a great sense of our inventory just by browsing through our online shop. And again, um, right now USPS, which is how we ship, is saying that the deadline uh, for Christmas shopping is December the 18th. However, we would not recommend you waiting that long. If you are going to order online, we recommend that you do it before that date just to guarantee delivery before Christmas. And we're still, we say guarantee, but we still hope it gets there. Um, we haven't gotten over last year yet and all the delays, but hopefully this year is going to be better. Um, this, uh, today we're just going to talk about the winter classes. Let me tell you a little bit about how we structure our classes here at Dances. We are on a quarter system. We, uh, our education program is very much an integral part of who we are as a shop. And, but it is really very deliberately planned. We, um, like I said, are on the quarters and we have our winter quarter uh, curriculum set. And we make sure in our curriculum that we, um, that we have offerings in spinning, or this for the first time, spinning this time, weaving, um, that's fairly new to our shop, and of course, knitting and crochet. So hopefully we've got a full, um, you know, anything for you. I mean, anything you might be interested in. And what a great time to get a class right now for the winter quarter. And these would be make, make great gift ideas as well. Someone in your family who might want to take a class with us. Of course, our gift cards cover classes as well. So that's something you want to consider um, if you're still trying to think of a gift for your fiber loving friends. So let me go ahead and get started with you. And I will tell you more as we go along about, um, about what we are doing this quarter. Uh, we are still offering some virtual classes. Those are not as many this uh, winter as we have um, the last two quarters, but we do still have virtual classes offered. So this is something that um, we have perfected over time as well with our camera angles and just the way that uh, we, you know, we do teach those classes virtually. It's a little bit different than it is in person, but we feel we do a really good job with how that content is presented to you. So you might want to consider that if it's still something that you're hesitant about coming and having a class in person. Some class, some offerings do not have virtual virtual offerings or virtual sessions, but a lot of ours do. So I will let you know as I go along what those are. So the first one is in this tiny little project right here that you see, which is a coffee cozy, but you are gonna get a ton of skills in this little coffee cozy class that we're offering. It is a sticking adventure. So you are gonna knit in the round. If you've never done color work before, this is a great project to learn on. You'll learn about how to carry your floats, um, how to um, manage your yarn when you're working with more than one color. You'll also be at the end cutting your knitting, which is um, scary, but what better thing to do it on than a small project like this rather than a sweater at first. But this is one of those classes where you're gonna get just a bunch of skills in a very small project. This is really gonna pack a wallop. This is the Color Work and Sticking Adventure with Pam. She's also going to have a virtual offering of this. And like I said, um, you can, uh, these, these would make also great, great gifts if you know of someone who might want to learn sticking and, and, and color work. So that is the Color Work and Sticking Adventure with Pam. Erin uh, is going to list that uh, website link right down below 
um, where you can click on and you can register for any of these classes. But that is the um, Color Work and Sticking Adventure with Pam, two offerings, virtual and in-person. The other one is uh, one that we offer every month, usually on the third weekend of the month. This is an Afterthought Heal class. Uh, we have told you before that we have uh, a one of our contractors here who does, if you buy your sock yarn with us, um, or if you have sock yarn, you just leave it with us, she will crank your uh, your sock yarns into tubes. Well, that's all great and wonderful, but what if you've never put in the heels and toes and the, and the cuff before? We have a class once a month that if you get your tubes cranked, um, Uta does a class where she teaches you how to do those, how to measure the foot, how to, how to decide where to place those toes and those heels. Um, you'll be doing a little bit of cutting in order to, to put that afterthought heel on because after all it's an afterthought which means after you've done the initial work. You're going to go back in and put the heel and then put the toe and then if you haven't already had your cuff put on she's going to teach you how to do that as well. Very popular class here and it is an ongoing class. We are offering that again in the winter quarter. Um, the basic socks on double pointed needles and we call Uta our sock guru because really she can do any sock, any style and she's just a great teacher. So if, you, if socks are on your menu for the winter, you're going to be able to learn and what's so great about this is um, you can use a heavier weight yarn than sock yarn and you can, so it's, it goes faster and she'll teach you the basics of um, how to do your sock and this is on double pointed needles from the cuff to the toe, okay? So she'll teach you that. So if you've wanted to learn the uh, anatomy of a sock and how to do that, uh, you will, um, this will be a class you wanna, you wanna try to take. And our sock classes usually fill up pretty quickly. They're very popular here. So if that's something you're interested in, you might wanna hop on that. Um, the other thing that we're gonna be doing again is our rigid heddle, heddle class. I'm telling you this because it is going to be offered every quarter. The one for winter filled up as soon as our winter classes went up, um, but that class is full for winter, but we will be offering it again in the spring. Rigid Heddle um, is done with our teacher, Nicole Bunting, and uh, she is quite talented. This was, you know, fiber arts is her major, and she, you know, she teaches at the Biz Arts Center in Richmond, and she's also an adjunct professor at VCU, so, She's got a lot of experience and um, she will be teaching our, our weaving classes. She's quite talented. So if that's something you're interested in, keep an eye out for when we post our, our spring classes because we'll be having that again. Continental knitting, you know, we've always taught, I don't know if you, if you kind of know, I mean, there's throwing when you're knitting and there's also picking. When you throw, um, most most of our knitters here, I noticed are throwers, um, where they take the right hand and they carry the yarn around. If you've wanted to learn continental knitting, which is really a little faster, um, and it does take some practice with it, and you wanna learn the right way to do it so that you, your stitches look nice and um, your tension's good, Uta is going to be teaching a con how to do continental knitting. It is just a workshop but she's gonna teach you how to pick your yarn, purling and knitting. So that might be something you might wanna do that is also offered for the winter quarter. And then, like I said, it's just a workshop. So it's not, um, you're not gonna be doing a project with that. You're just gonna be learning the technique. Um, Crochet 102, These, this is um, a vir virtual class. Uh, this is my first hat. What is good about this is, um, you just need to know your basic stitches for crochet. You don't need to know anything advanced. If you've taken 101 or just learned to crochet, this will be a great next step. This is my first hat for crochet. Really pretty, nice unisex hat too. Um, this is just showing you two different versions of it. You can do it in a solid or you can do it. This is Malabrigo, very pretty. Um, but this is a class that we're offering this winter. Like I said, it is virtual. It is with Penelope, our crochet teacher. And it's a class that lends itself well to virtual. So you can stay in your pajamas, sit at home, and learn a new technique. The next one that um, we're going to be doing is our Knitting 101. 
and our um, and that is with Pam this is also a fantastic gift um, if someone in your family or a friend wants to learn how to do um, beginning knitting and what we do is we do it over two weeks so it's very um, it, it's broken down into nice little chunks the first week you're going to learn how to knit and how, how to cast on and how to knit the knit stitch second week we teach you how to purl we teach you a little bit of ribbing in other words we teach you how to knit and purl on the same row and then um, we teach you how to bind off at the end of the class we give you a little bit of direction on where to go from there you know if you want to do like a washcloth something very simple just enough to keep practicing and of course um, we have a full array of 102 classes which are good uh, classes that you can bridge from beginning knitting into something else um, that's a great gift idea and again if it's something that or maybe you're you're someone who hasn't knitted in a long 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 time and you think you need to come in and just take the class again to be sure you know that knit stitch and that purl stitch um, it's a class for you all of the materials in that class are provided with the class uh, the first cable cow with um, and this is with Pam this is going to be a great class if you just want to move into and this is perfectly acceptable for someone who's done who knows how to knit who knows how to purl cast on and bind off so this is also something that um, is suitable for a Brit and I don't know if you can see that but you'll see that there's some cable work in there this is a cowl so you're going to be doing this interesting little stitch in here it looks harder than it really is it's just knits and pearls and this is the first your first um, my first cable cowl with Pam so this is a good this is a 102 class which and anytime you see the 102s those are great classes to bridge from that beginning knitter into more um, you're just learning more skills you're becoming an advanced beginner so this is my first cabled cowl with Pam. It is a virtual as well as in-person class and Pam's really good about offering more than one session. She has one, um, you know, uh, in the evenings usually and another, and another offering of time. And then she does the virtual as well. So that is also a great class and we're excited to get that one for the winner. The other one is my first cabled hat. So. This is an adorable hat. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the tiny cables. Again, this is a 102 class. I know it looks more difficult. Actually, when I first started knitting, cables were the first thing I really learned after my basic stitches. And I can tell you, I feel like that was a good thing to learn other than joining things in the round was how to do a cable stitch because it wasn't that difficult and it continued to build my confidence um, when I was learning new skills. So this is my first 102, my first cabled hat with Pam. We have a few offerings for that. She's also offering that in person as well as um, virtual. All right, so that's my first cabled hat. Now, this next class has been a very requested class. Um, there's nothing to show you because it again is a workshop class. Um, this class is going to be fixing your mistakes. Now this is not an advanced fixing mistakes class. This is a very basic, so it's good if you're, um, even if you're a beginning knitter. Um, one of the things that we wish beginning knitters, um, you know, uh, learned with their, um, and we do teach you how to knit back, but there's things that as a beginning knitter, you panic when it happens. I know I did, um, where you drop a stitch and you don't know what to do. This is a great class for that. She's gonna teach you how to go down and get or pick up a drop stitch so you're going to be laddering down or laddering back up with that drop stitch um, she's going to teach you how to tink back um, knitting backwards um, and fixing gen just fixing mistakes but it's a very beginner friendly class so if that's something you're interested in it is in a, in a workshop format so um, you're going to have a, a you know a few things you need to bring to class so that you can mess them up you know, little um, swatches that you can mess up so that you can learn the techniques. But it's a great class um, to give you some confidence on how to fix your own mistakes. So you don't have to panic or it doesn't have to happen on a Friday. You have to wait all weekend to bring it into the shop for us to help you. So this is a good class if you want to, um, to learn those uh, techniques. 
The other um, class where, uh, this one's by Uta. This is called the Mitered Blanket. She is so excited about this. She said this is probably one of her favorite things that she's done in a while. This is gonna involve several patterns and you're going to be working in squares and then picking up a side of that square to knit the next square. Um, this is, that's the miter. So you're actually picking up the square to start the next one. And this is the mitered blanket and you're gonna see different designs you're gonna learn. This is done, Uta said this one that she's working on and you can see she's not finished it. She just brought it in so you could see the sample. This is one of those you can make as big as you want, as small as you want. It'd make a great baby blanket. It would make a larger throw for you to put over your couch or on your bed. Um, but there are different designs in here. You can repeat the designs um, if you want. This is great if you wanna learn how to um, do uh, miter work. And uh, it, again, she, she gives you all the techniques you need to know. She said it's just jam packed with skills. So that is one you might wanna consider for the winter. Um, the other one is rigid heddle weaving and that's pickup patterns. This class is not full yet. The, remember the beginner rigid heddle is full, but this is that next step. You know how to do rigid heddle weaving, but you wanna take it and build on that skill for a very basic rigid heddle, beginner rigid heddle weaving, where you're just using the rigid heddle and you're learning how to do the weaving technique um, and warping and, you know, I don't know how to weave, so I don't, I can't really tell you anything more than that, but this is taking it to a next step. So this is an, a, more of an advanced class than that 101 class. Take it as a 102 class, but again, that one is not full. So if you do have some weaving techniques, but you are uh, beginning techniques, um, you know them, but you wanna take it and do something a little bit more advanced, that would be the class for you. Then this weekend, we have a Santa's Elves help session coming up. This one is just, um, just to help you. You might, it doesn't matter what project you're working on. It could be hats, it could be mittens, it could be, you know, um, a scarf, it could be a stocking, it could be a sock. Uta's gonna be here and she's gonna sit down, you know, if you have issues, it would be one hour. Um, it is a paid uh, session, a paid class, but you would just sit down with her and get help to move from where you are to where you need to go. Um, it, if, you're, if you hit a, hit a bump and you know it's gonna take some time and you wanna sit down and, and really work one-on-one -on -one with somebody, this is a great class. So basically, it's a semi-private lesson. There are only gonna be a few people in the class, but you have Uta's undivided attention. So this is a class if, you want to if you're just working on something and, have, and you've had a hiccup or you have, or, you know, you, you, you're working in a section and you're not really sure what it's telling you to do. This would be a great class to come in and get that one-on-one -on -one help. Uh, the other one that um, she is working on this winter, again, what's so great about uh, doing children's sweaters as a class or children's um, knitwear or crochet wear as a class is it teaches you how to do skills on a smaller project. This is a, I know it doesn't look like it. You think, oh, well, that's just a, a regular sweater. I could do that. This is using a different technique to construct the sweater. Um, I think you start with the back on this one and then you're doing over the shoulders and then it's being constructed in a certain way. Um, but this is a baby sweater. You could do it at this scale. It's done with chunky yarn, so it's gonna go really fast. It's called the Chunky Cardi for children. How it, it goes to a size 10, all, although if you enjoy once you, once you do it, once you do the sweater and if you like the technique, there is a version for adults. So Uta's gonna teach you the technique for this. It's just a different way to construct a sweater. But if you're just interested in learning new ways and new, uh, new ways to do things, new ways to construct things, this would be a great class to take. And again, something you're learning on a smaller scale and you can apply it to something bigger. Um, toe up socks with Uta, I do not have those right here um, to show you, but basically it is gonna be a class where she's gonna teach you on a magic loop, starting at the toe, it's a different construction um, and you're going to be working from the toe to the cuff. 
So just another technique for working with socks. Um, it lends itself very well to two at a time and working on the magic loop. And so, uh, yeah, she will be working with that. So uh, if you're interested in a sock class and you wanna learn how to do it from the toe up, this would be the class for you. This is also a class we've had a lot of interest so far in this one, this is the top hat. Um, this is by Wormhead, Wooly Wormhead, and it is one that you're going to be learning the, uh, a different technique with after you join in the round. There's going to be some short rows. Of course, you're working with two different colors. Again, this is a project that packs a lot of skills into, um, into a, a design, and as you can see, the result is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the top hat with Uta. You're gonna be doing short row work for this, you can, as you can see. So the other thing, Knit Companion has been one of our best classes that we offer here at the store as far as popularity. Um, this one is offered every quarter and we have, Pam does this. The Knit Companion is an app on your phone or on your device that basically your patterns from Ravelry go into this app or, go, or you download them into this app and it allows you to manipulate the patterns within the app. A lot of people now have gone paperless because they've taken this class and they're using their apps exclusively or the Knit Companion app. This is one that um, you get, it is uh, an app that you'll load on your phone. If you want it to have more advanced features, you can pay to have the more advanced feature. It's not very much, let's like, you know, I don't remember the cost, but it's for a year, you pay for a year, it's a year subscription. The 101 class teaches you very basic skills. And we do recommend that if you've never worked with Knit Companion before, do not go straight to the 102 class. You wanna start with the 101 class. It's a very, it's a workshop, um, and it's gonna teach you how to use the app. So you're gonna actually be able to pull in a pattern and you know actually start using that pattern within the app. And we're going to teach, teach you different um, features of the app. The other um, class that we offer with the Knit Companion is 102. Now, I will tell you, this is a class that is better taught virtually, so we only offer it virtually. And the reason is you are actually able to see Pam's screen and what she's doing. And again, you know, you're sitting on the other end of the screen, but you've actually got her screen and you can see exactly what she's doing. So this is a class that does lend itself better to having it as a virtual class that we, we've learned that over time. So this is t entirely virtual. It is, like I said, a workshop. The 102 Knit Companion, most people who sign up, sign up for the 101 and immediately sign up after, at the same time for 102. Because 102, you're gonna learn how to take your charts and put your charts into, um, into Knit Companion for that pattern and be able to use um, highlight, highlighters and all kinds of things in your charts. And so this is one that you also want to learn. If you're going to use Knit Companion, if you've decided to use it, you want to be able to use it as, as many of the functions as you can, and 102 allows you to do that. So 101 and 102, we're offering again Knit Companion, and that's going to be with Pam. And then um, we have another virtual crochet 101 with, um, with Penelope. This is virtual, learn how to crochet. If you have someone again in your family that wants to learn to crochet, this would be a great gift and can be done and can be paid for with a gift card. So a gift card might be a way to go so they can sign up for a class. Um, or you can go online and sign them up for the class and present that to them. You can do it either way. You also, Virtual Crochet 102 is the Baby Blanket. I wanna show you this, cause it is just absolutely gorgeous. Who said Baby Blankets have to be only square? This is one, it's done from the center out. You can choose your colors. You can do it with one color, two colors. There's all kinds of ways you can do it. And because you're knitting from the center out, you can keep going. You can make it as big as you want. And it's just a gorgeous uh, variation um, or a different, uh, a different take on a baby blanket. But she'll be teaching you the technique for this. This is 102 baby blanket. It's called the Rainbow Ripple and it's gonna be with Penelope um, and it is one of our winter class offerings. 
The other crochet offering that we have, and Penny's going to be doing this one as well as on virtual. I'm going to leave this on the mannequin, but I'll turn it. This is a shrug. So, <laughs> isn't that pretty? So as you can see, it is a crocheted shrug. The back is gorgeous. Penny has worn this and it's, it's, it's gorgeous. So the back's a little bit longer. And of course, you've got your, um, your sleeves are, sun, are, are, are here. So it's just a warm, it's like being wrapped up in a little blanket. Um, this is the cross stitch shrug crochet class and that's gonna be with Penny. Um, I would say that you want to take a look at the at the prerequisites for this class. You just you, you're going to need to know some basic crochet in order to do this. Um, but that's this is one you want to consider if you're interested in moving into how to do garments um, with crochet. So there you go. We have a full list of classes for you to look at. We hope you'll consider taking. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Thank you, Erin. We do have one more class. We have a spinning class. We added a spinning class. It is with a drop spindle. Thank God Erin's here. Um, I didn't have it on my list. Uh, but it is, a, it is a class that'll teach you how to use a drop spindle to... Um, to spin yarn. I was going to say to spin. You're drafting, right? Or yeah, just, yeah. Drafting You're drafting. Yarn. Yes, exactly. Thank you. So... Erin is teaching that class and we're going to, that's a January class. So if you've been, and because you're here watching us today, we can tell you this is an area that we are expanding the shop to include is some spinning and, um, and we're excited about that. It's gonna take a while because we need a little bit bigger space, but we thought we would go ahead and start offering some classes about with spinning and this is the one we wanted to start with was the drop spindle class. So this is one you want to check out. It is listed on our website as well. Thank you, Erin. Sorry, I forgot. Here you are standing here, and I'm forgetting about you. So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have, but check them out. Um, we are, we're excited about what we have to offer. We're very proud of this curriculum for, this, for the winter. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. Um, but again, you can sign up for all of these online. You don't have to come into the shop to sign up. It will, um, and we, I will say this because we've been asked a few times, do we have a wait list? We do not care, we do not take, um, have a wait list because our classes generally, once they fill every, we've never had an issue with people not showing up for classes. So um, this is one, you know, we have never had a wait list. So no, we do not have a wait list on these classes. So when they're full, they're full. Um, we do take recommendations for classes, so if you ever come in and say, hey, have you thought about a class on this, we do let our teachers know. Um, we are going to have a couple things probably popping up towards the end of the winter quarter. I really don't want to go into them right now because the um, exact specifics of those classes have not been um, ironed out, but we have a couple more that are probably going to be added. I do want to say that in addition to the classes this next quarter, we are going to be really filling your um, your ears with our next year-long knit-along. Erin's going to talk to you all about it next Friday on Inspire Me, but we're going to also have a little bit about it in the newsletter on Monday, so you want to check that out. We'll be talking about it. We'll stay on our usual schedule of, being, uh, of really talking about it a lot between now and um, middle of January. We'll be offering, we'll be having you guys, those of you that want to participate, We'll be having you um, get your materials, order your materials in January and February, any kind of uh, prerequisite that you have to have for the class or getting your materials ready, such as winding and all, we'll do that in February. Then we'll start in earnest in March. Um, but I'm not going to say too much about that because Erin's going to tell you all about it next, next Friday on Inspire Me. But I will tell you this, it's brioche and you don't have to know it. Uh, anything about brioche before starting so we hope you'll join us this is just another skill for your toolbox and um, it's going to be a lot of fun so um, that's coming up so thank you for joining us today hope you take advantage of one of these classes or more for this next winter season and I hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead take care bye bye, bye.